created this series um, in order to make a space for the design community to come together and talk about the role of designers in crafting the future and the potential for design to really uh, make the world a better place. I think the power of a good design system in whatever form it's in is really leveraging um, trust amongst the users. What we're hoping is that this is going to kind of accelerate all of your knowledge about how to really like use AI and machine learning as a medium, uh, as a UXer, and, and to start to influence the products as much as you can. We're trying to believe that inclusion or inclusive design is about believing everyone's the same and homogeneity is the goal. It's actually highlighting and celebrating our differences. We're making a lot of assumptions about what is the right theory about emotion. And so I'm going to talk about just a few ways that I think we can broaden our perspective on emotional design. It's not just about a new wave of technology that's assistance in AI and all this stuff you can kind of have in your toolkit to design for it. This is about deep humanity. This is about human rights. This is about ethics. This is about human potential. Culture does inform every part of our design practice. A look at some of those tropes and stereotypes that might creep into your work and try to identify ways to fight against that and to build a much more multicultural and inclusive design practice. I'm here today to talk to you about what product visioning means, especially using storytelling to really advance our business strategy. What's your vision of the world as it should be? But maybe more importantly, I think we can all start by reflecting on this question, which is essentially, what do you value?